Hey guys, this is Chris from the Final Mouth Gamers, and I'm back with another unboxing for you. And in today's unboxing, we have something oh, that's a little rare, hard to find. Uh, this is a product that actually has not been released here in the United States, the Famicom White Gun. So we're going to open this up and we're going to take a look at it. Let's do it. Now, I had got this off on eBay for a very decent price. Um, I was just basically roaming around eBay just looking for stuff and I came across this and I'm like, wow, that's that's a pretty good price. So I decided, why not? Let's jump on it. Oh, packing peanuts, my favorite. I hate making a mess out of these things. There we go. I prefer to not get this stuff all over the place. All right. A plus on the packing. Here it is. You see from the box, uh, in I believe what the Katakana it says gun. You got the front, sides. The box is a little, a little damaged, but I mean, no, oh, he's outside. You know, what are you gonna do, right? The packaging is well over 30, almost 35 years old now, so we have the back showing you Famicom unit, TV, the gun, where to plug it in, the front port. That's very important. All right. All right. So we have a little pamphlet, I guess. Can't read it. So right there. And here we have the gun. That, uh, yeah, that would not fly in the States. Needs a little bit of cleanup. It's a little dusty, a little dirty, but uh, I'll shine it up and make it look brand new. Let's see if it fires. Ooh. That. That's pretty cool. What if you can cock it? Let's see. Ooh, you can. Look at that. Sick. That is a freaking cool looking light gun, right guys? It looks so real. I mean, holding it, you could tell, you know, it's plastic, but uh, from a distance, if you would have cut this wire off right here, you would probably think this was a real fucking gun. Now, let's look at the differences. Obviously, this is the gun they got in Japan versus the light gun that we got here in America or I believe in other countries so obviously they felt that this gun right here was just too realistic you know so they decided to release this guy right here the NES zapper and here you can hear the difference in uh, the way the uh, the gun sounds when you fire like here's for the NES hear that and I guess for the Famicom it's big difference now from what I've heard apparently even this in the States right here was still too realistic I know right how how does this how does this look like a real gun so they eventually changed the the gray color to match orange so it can be more obviously detected that it's not a real gun but um, yeah that's the difference between uh, the the zapper that we got here versus the Famicom one that they got in Japan. This one I prefer. This one looks really cool though. It looks real. If it, it just it feels good to hold in the hand, and you know you can cock the trigger back if you want, or you know just rapid fire if you want. That's freaking awesome. And obviously the uh, the port right here is different than the Nintendo port. This right here would plug into the front of your unit. So yeah, that's basically it. I want to say thanks guys for watching. I'll be having another unboxing video pretty soon. Hopefully it won't be several months from now. So I'm really sorry about that guys. You know, just been busy, just got a new job. So things have been hectic, but I'm trying to come back. 
as always thank you for watching guys and please remember to rate comment and subscribe oh and uh, one other thing there will be an upcoming room tour video soon i did a room tour video about a couple of years back and i feel like it's due i'm due for another one uh, a lot of things in the room have changed so look out for that coming up pretty soon all right so once again guys thank you for watching please take care see you in the next video